everyone, it's Caroline and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to be talking about a very important but lesser known symptom of PCOS and that is fatigue. Now women with and without PCOS suffer from fatigue, but fortunately there are many tips and strategies that we can easily implement into our lives to lessen this debilitating symptom. And that's exactly what I'm going to be talking with you about today. Now, before we get started, I wanted to thank Opticals Online for sponsoring today's video. They offer a wide range of stylish designer quality blue light blocking glasses that are going to protect your eyes from the harmful blue light that is emitted from our digital devices. They help to promote a quality night's sleep and can reduce headaches and tired eyes. They were kind enough to send me two pairs of their blue light glasses and I will be sharing with you exactly how these have drastically improved my sleep quality in just a few minutes. In the meantime, I wanted to let you know that they're currently running an amazing promotion where you can order a pair of their blue light glasses right now for free, just pay the cost of shipping and handling. So after hearing all about the amazing benefits, make sure to head over to their website to get your free pair of glasses and you will be well on your way to a more restful night's sleep and better, brighter mornings. I want to begin this video by discussing why women with PCOS are more prone to having daytime fatigue and poor sleep. Now, this is largely due in part to the many hormonal balances that we suffer from as a result of our PCOS. And one of them is our low levels of estrogen. The estrogen receptors in our brain are largely in charge of helping to regulate our circadian rhythm, which is our 24 hour day night cycle. Now without the proper levels of estrogen, our circadian rhythm can be thrown off, leaving us with a sense of jet lag, almost as if we're living in the wrong time zone. Second is an imbalance of our cortisol and melatonin hormones. Now, normally in the morning, our cortisol level rises and that gives us energy to power through our day. Then in the evening, cortisol drops and melatonin is on the rise. That helps us wind down and fall asleep easily and stay asleep all night. Now, women with PCOS often have low cortisol in the morning. That leaves us groggy and fatigued even if we've had plenty of sleep at night. Now at night, our cortisol is higher than normal. So even if we've been fatigued all day, all of a sudden we feel a bit more energy, energized almost like a tired but wired feeling, which I can so relate to. Now, I have been feeling like this for more than a decade. I'm an ICU nurse and I thought that I was just fatigued all the time because I work very long shifts at the hospital. Add in two kids in less than two years and I just felt like I would be fatigued forever. Now, it wasn't until I took a few simple steps to help correct my circadian rhythm dysfunction that I'm finally feeling the fog lift. I wake up in the morning and I actually feel rested and refreshed, which is an amazing feeling if you haven't been feeling like that for a very long time. I have energy throughout the day and at night I'm able to fall asleep faster. I sleep all night and my husband tells me that I sound much more peaceful as I'm asleep. Now, in order to understand how to correct a problem, you have to understand why it exists in the first place. Now, almost all of human ailments and disease stem from something that we are doing that goes against our genetic makeup. We live in a modern world, but our genes think that we are still living in a world from hundreds of thousands of years ago. Humans evolve so slowly and our genetics just can't keep up. Since the dawn of time, humans have been programmed to live by the sun, waking up at dawn, spending the day outdoors and going to bed when it's dark. We now live in a world where we stay inside all day away from the sun and are exposed to artificial light often late into the night. It's no wonder our bodies are confused. When we're exposed to blue light from our phones or televisions, our bodies don't receive the signal that it's nighttime. The hormones that control our daytime wakefulness and nighttime sleepiness are completely out of whack. So what are we supposed to do? Now, most articles that you're gonna read about getting better sleep is gonna tell you to put away your phone and your devices about one to two hours before you go to bed. But face it, nobody is gonna do that, myself included. So that's where the blue light blocking glasses come into play. Now these block the blue light that is emitted that our bodies associate with morning light. And instead, it's gonna leave behind the more yellow, warm tones that our body associates with the evening. This is such a simple trick that you can use to help get a better night's sleep. All I do is stick these on like around 8 p.m. and I just wear them for the rest of the night while I'm on my phone or my laptop. And I swear, it has helped me so much with falling asleep, staying asleep faster, and waking up feeling refreshed. 
Now, speaking of light, we can use the power of the sun to help to regulate our circadian rhythm. Have you ever felt kind of like groggy or lethargic, and then all of a sudden you go outside and you feel more awake and energized? That is because our bodies use sunlight to let us know what time of day it is. There's an area in the hypothalamus of your brain that sits above the optic nerve and it uses light to help to let our bodies know what time it is and what hormones we need to be making. If you can expose yourself to some bright sunlight early in the morning, that is going to help stimulate our cortisol levels and our body's going to know that it needs to be awake and alert. I've personally experienced this as someone who leaves for work very early in the morning. When I'm driving to work in the winter and it's still dark outside, I feel so groggy. But in the summer when it's bright and the sun has already rose when I'm on my way to work, I feel so much more energized. Now, same in the evening, we can use the power of sunset light to help let our bodies know that it is evening and it's time to start winding down. It's gonna lower those cortisol levels and start the production of melatonin that's gonna help us get to sleep faster and stay asleep all night. You can also help your body produce melatonin by dimming the lights in the evening and using more warm yellow tone light bulbs around your house. Now, once you're ready for bed, it's crucial that you sleep in a very dark environment. At my old house, before I moved, there was a street light directly outside my bedroom window, and I absolutely cringed just thinking about how that must have negatively affected my sleep quality. Little bits of light can filter through your eyelids as you're sleeping, and it will actually suppress your melatonin production. Nighttime light exposure has also been shown to worsen insulin resistance, which 80% of PCOS women already suffer from, so we don't need any more of that. Blackout curtains or a sleep mask are a very inexpensive way to help make sure that your environment is super dark and let you sleep, but also make sure to check your room for little areas of light exposure, like from your electronics or power charging strips. There are so many other ways that we can prep our bodies for relaxation and sleep. You can try meditating, you can read, even a bath or a hot cup of tea can really help you wind down and get you to sleep. Now there's certainly plenty of supplements that you can look into to promote a great night's sleep without taking a powerful sleeping pill. Now melatonin is one of them. It works great for women with or without PCOS. It works best when taken at least two to three hours before bedtime, so it has enough time to rise and peak when it naturally would in your body. It's also a powerful antioxidant. It improves egg quality, it raises estrogen, and reduces testosterone, which is perfect for PCOS. You could also consider taking a CBD supplement. Now, CBD is a compound found in cannabis. However, it contains absolutely no THC, so it will not get you high and it will not show up in a drug test. CBD is great for reducing inflammation, helping with anxiety and depression, and even pain relief. When you take it in the evening, it can help you feel more calm and, pro and promote a restful night's sleep. Lastly, there's magnesium. Magnesium is an essential vitamin for our body's health. One of its many jobs is to activate the part of the nervous system to help you get calm and relaxed. It also supports the body's production of melatonin, which we already discussed how that's essential for sleep. By quieting the nervous system, it can help you get ready for a good night's rest, and a deficiency could cause sleep troubles or insomnia. Now, I don't personally take magnesium, but I know many people that take the brand Natural Vitality Calm, and they say that it's amazing for helping them wind down and have a great night's sleep. Another really important step for a great night's sleep is to restore the circadian rhythm of your gut. While we're asleep, our bodies behave completely completely different than when we're awake, and our organs depend on this overnight fast to regenerate and restore themselves. Our gut microbiome is directly connected to the circadian sensor in our brain, and it can see the entrance of nutrients into our bloodstream while we're eating. Instead of eating only at mealtimes, many people in our society eat all throughout the day, including late at night. This can further disrupt our circadian rhythm, making it harder to fall asleep, and it can worsen sleep apnea which women with PCOS are at a much higher risk of developing. Not to mention, it contributes to inflammation, weight gain, fatty liver, and diabetes. A balanced circadian rhythm is the foundation for good health. If you've tried implementing all these tips and tricks and you still feel tired and sluggish, even after eight plus hours of sleep, then you might need to get checked for depression, low thyroid, or maybe even anemia from your doctor. I've been implementing all these tips and tricks and I can't tell you how amazing it feels to wake up refreshed and energized for the first time in what feels like forever. 
PCOS fatigue is real. It can be debilitating, but there's so much that we can do. So I wanna thank Opticals Online again for sponsoring this video and helping me and my channel grow. Please head to the website in the description box so you can get your free pair of their stylish designer blue light blocking glasses, and you are gonna be on your way to better night's sleep and better brighter mornings. I also want to thank Dr. Felice Gersh. Her book, PCOS SOS, has been absolutely instrumental in helping me balance my circadian rhythm. She is a PCOS expert and I love her. All of her work that she's done has improved my quality of life so much. And that's where I got the majority of the information for this video. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope that you will stay tuned and subscribed because I have lots more PCOS content coming your way. Bye. Waiting for love, waiting for love Try to forget about you makes me restless Waiting